Hi everyone, it's Red Herring. This is my Tuesday random ramblings. Uh, I know I said I was going to do these every other Tuesday and then I had uh, gone on vacation so I never put another one out. Um, so I'm going to try to keep these going uh, and just kind of introduce like if I'm getting new cups in, if I got new cups, kind of what's going on a little bit maybe about my period or whatever. Um, so, first of all, I want to apologize for not uh, updating you when I was leaving and uh, reminding you that I was uh, willing to meet with some of you. So, uh, as the departure time got closer, um, my family had more events or more plans made, uh, so we did fly from Seattle to Las Vegas first and that was to meet with my side of the family uh, my father's 70th birthday and then I found out some of my other family from Hawaii my dad is in Hawaii now uh, but some of my other family members from my mother's side um, also was in in Las Vegas at the same time from Hawaii so uh, my schedule kind of got filled up quite quickly and I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to meet with any of you. Plus, because I was in Vegas, you know, I was trying to be a little bit more conservative with money. And I had two more weeks while I was going to be in Florida that I needed to kind of conserve my money for. So um, I was worried that, like, you know, if I had to meet with you and you couldn't come to the California hotel, that I would, I would eat into some of that money uh, spending it on Uber or Lyft or taxi or whatever. Also, the flight that I had taken, uh, or the airlines that I, I, I booked with, um, they're very inexpensive or very cheap. Um, and for a round trip, because at the time I didn't know that we were going to Florida uh, right after um, Las Vegas, um, I got a round trip for $117, and there's four of us, my husband and my two children. And... Um, the flight was very cheap, but then like they charged for everything. Like you couldn't, they didn't have any complimentary anything. If you wanted water, uh, you know, you had to bring some with you. Uh, I, I wondered if they charged for toilet paper even, um, but it was, it was just a really uh, quick kind of flight. Uh, if you had any baggage, uh, besides your one personal carry-on, um, then they charged $40 for it at the ticket ch counter. Uh, I think it was like $35 if you book, uh, if you added on luggage or uh, carry-on um, while you were doing your ticket. So it had to be at the same time. But my daughter ended up paying uh, $40 just to take uh, her regular purse and then also her... Um, her bag of clothes. Uh, so we were trying to just take carry-ons because most airlines you can have two carry-ons, a, a personal item and then a bag. But on this flight you could only take one item. Your purse was one item. Your laptop bag was an, one item. So um, I was trying to keep it really inexpensive. Um, Although the cups are really small, I have several of them, uh, over 80 of them. So if I was bringing them, it would be, and it would end up being really bulky, and I would have, I would have had to pay an another forty dollars to take it on the plane with me. So um, I was kind of worried about that. Also, our our schedule for Daytona and. Um, uh, Orlando kind of filled up also we had some events that we were gonna go to the Biketoberfest was uh, at the same time and um, we went to um, a, a lighthouse and um, walked the boardwalk and whatnot uh, so also because there was a hurricane uh, we weren't sure if we were gonna be able to go to um, to Florida at first it was like Saturday they finally started a reopening part of the airport and then by and we were flying out Monday so um, we did get to fly out there but there was damage uh, at the area that my mother-in-law my husband's mother is living in Florida now she she's from Hawaii but she lives uh, in Florida so um, there was damage in the neighborhood and and uh, we went and helped and cleaned up and 
um, like the roof was falling. There's a hole in the roof and stuff like that. Uh, so we there was no no uh, power when we got there. Uh, so you know we just kind of helped a little bit cleaning up and and whatnot and just keeping them company. But we did do a, a few things while we were in Daytona. Um, and then we went to Orlando. So it was just really, really busy and I wanted to be able to spend that time with you, but uh, I was worried that I would have to cut our visit short and, you know, I wanted to spend that time with family. So uh, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, the next time I go traveling, I will make sure to allocate a certain uh, day maybe that is just just um, meeting with you guys. So uh, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. So two days before I left to Vegas, I did start spotting and um, I didn't put out a what I wore this month video for the month of October because I only brought four cups with me to Vegas. And uh, that was the small Super Jenny, the large Super Jenny, and the medium and large in my lolly cups. Uh, I only used my lolly cup for the duration of my period. I did swap out to my small Super Jenny, but that was only for a part of the day when somebody asked me to um, do a video of the medium uh, lolly cup compared to another cup. And I, I just tried to get that done uh, before I, I left for my travels. My period was really light and um, it was pretty short. It was like a, a week and a half or so. And so I just, I felt comfortable with my lolly cup. I knew that it was going to hold me all day. I only emptied it in the morning and then in the evening. Um, we were out every day, almost all day, uh, walking the strip or walking uh, Fremont Street, just hanging out with family, eating a lot. Um, so. Um, I, I was just comfortable with the lolly cup and I knew that, you know, it wasn't going to give me any kind of problems and I wouldn't have le any leaking or anything like that. So I just stuck with it the whole time. While I was in Vegas one night, I did get an email from the Ruby Cup Company. Uh, they were having a sale on their limited black edition and uh, I did put out an unboxing video of that if you're interested in uh, what you get when you order. Um, and so I went ahead and ordered it while I was in Las Vegas. I really didn't want to eat into that money, but uh, it was on sale. And so I went ahead and purchased it because I think they only had a couple hundred cups available. By the time we left uh, Vegas, I, I stopped using my cup already. I didn't have any spotting. Uh, so I guess it was only a week, not a week and a half. Um, so I didn't have to fly again with the cup in, which it wouldn't have mattered to me because I did fly with my cup uh, before and I didn't have any problems using it. Uh, I want to share with you, it was really funny. My daughter did have a cup in and she got stopped at security and uh, they brought the wand to her and they were, you know, scanning her and stuff. And on the little screen on the side, and I did post about this on Facebook, um, the area that was lit up was her crotch. So uh, the security asked if she had any kind of medical devices or any, you know anything um, that they need to know about. And she was like, besides a menstrual cup, I don't have anything you can check. I have no shame. So I just kind of laughed that off and I was like, that was kind of awesome. <laughs> Uh, so her crotch lit up and it was just because her belt buckle was uh, right there and it was just a condensed area um, that it was picking it up for, for some reason. In Daytona we did a lot of swimming almost every single night. I think we only missed one night of uh, not going to the pool. I didn't use my cup. I wish I did now that I think about it because I was diving down to the bottom. Uh, because of the hurricane, there was just a lot of leaves and we made a game out of cleaning the pool. It was a, a community pool, but we, we dove down. I, it was eight feet um, and we were picking leaves up, but it would have been a great time to test out uh, how uh, my body worked with a cup in and swimming in and diving not that it was very deep but eight feet is a good amount where you know it puts it could put pressure on some people's ears and maybe even on their cups so I was just kind of curious about that we spent about five days in Disney World five days our reservations kind of got messed up and we were supposed to arrive on a Monday uh, or be checked into the hotel on a Monday, but we actually got checked in on a Tuesday. 
Um, and although Disney World was closed, some of the parks were closing at like 7 uh, in the evening, we still did a lot of walking. Uh, they were having a food and wine festival, so um, the hotel that we originally were supposed to stay at, which was on uh, or one of the Disney resorts, were booked full, and so we ended up having to stay off-site. And um, so it was taking shuttles, taking the the steamship, taking monorails, running to the public bus, stuff like that. So we were, everything was like so close together. The, the transportation times were so close together. We were running a lot. Um, so it, it would have been a great time to have a tracker. Uh, and I mentioned wanting to get the Bella Bee and um, I think it was my 10 tips and tricks. Uh, video but I did mention that I wanted to get it but it was expensive um, and so I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it and when I got home I actually ended up ordering one off of Amazon so when I ordered it from Amazon they were not available at the time but I was uh, hoping that I'd be in line for the next shipment uh, but it did say that they didn't know if they were going to get them in again. So I went to the Bella Bee website and I saw on their website that uh, when you go to click order, it says that they have some in stock. So I was like, oh, sweet. I'll go ahead and order it from here. When I was on Amazon or when I had ordered it from Amazon, it came out to like 150 something dollars because they added on the tax. Uh, although shipping was free because I have Prime. When I ordered it from the website, there was no tax and the shipping was still free, so it came out to their base price, which was $130 or $40. I'm not exactly sure how the Bella Beat works. Um, I do know that it is a health tracker, it has meditation, uh, it vibrates. Um, I don't know all the things that it tracks, but I do know that it specifically tracks uh, your menstrual period or your menstrual cycle and also your ovulation and I'm wondering if it's kind of like Clue because that's the app that I use right now. Um, I didn't really see any uh, videos that went into depth about how it works and um, you know what it does exactly and all the features of it, the interface or anything like that. So I think when I do get it, I'll go ahead and do a video about that if you're interested in that information. Um, if you want to know anything about Bella Beat, the website is simple, it's just bellabeat.com. Reading their comments on their Facebook page, it seems like shipping takes a really long time. Uh, some people have waited nine weeks and they still don't have their Bella Beat. So uh, I was hoping that I was going to get it sooner just because it said that there were some in stock. Uh, but it, I ordered it on November 5th and uh, today is Tuesday, November 22nd. Um, and so I haven't seen any kind of changes in my status when I visit the email or visit the link that they sent to me in my email about my uh, delivery or my my shipping time so uh, I'll keep you updated on that and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too too long because uh, I've been waiting kind of a long time for it even though I didn't order it uh, I did want it for a long time so um, yeah I think that is a cool feature I hope that it helps me uh, get off my ass a little bit more because it does have this inactive um, uh, notification I guess like you can set it to different time lengths like if you're inactive or sitting in one spot for one hour it will uh, kind of vibrate against you to notify you you need to get up and move around. When I was away uh, my flex fits or my flex samples did arrive uh, they were waiting for me when I got home and uh, my ruby cup a limited edition black didn't arrive until uh, Halloween. Uh, if you watched that video, I already explained all that stuff. Uh, so I had those two cups and I am bleeding now. Um, and I already used both of those cups. Uh, and I won't really give you any more details about it until I do my what I wore this month for the month of November, which should be um, not too much longer. Maybe next week we'll see. I'm still kind of bleeding um, and uh, just I, I don't want to go into all of that right now in this video. 
One last thing is I got a new camera again. I already went through two different GoPros, two different uh, versions or series or whatever, a uh, Hero 4 and a Hero 5. And now I got a camcorder um, suggested by the guy that uh, suggested the, the GoPros. Um, so <laughs> I'm hoping this one works. I had to kind of tell him exactly what I needed and, and whatnot. We thought the GoPro was going to work out for me, but it, it, they didn't. Uh, and the volumes on it weren't very clear. And because I had purchased a whole bunch of microphones, five microphones for my Hero 4 and the adapters for them. Um, and then when I got the Hero 5, none of those adapters worked because they changed the ports on that version. And uh, so it was just kind of really muffled and whatnot. So uh, the picture was nice and clear, but I didn't have the sound quality that I wanted, or at least that you could actually hear what I was saying without distorting it a whole bunch by editing it on my programs. So I have this camcorder now and um, I finally got a microphone this morning that worked. It I, I ordered it yesterday. I was really surprised. I ordered it yesterday and it, it was here in the morning before 8 a.m. So I thought it was going to arrive tomorrow and I was like, oh, I hope this one works because I had already tried three different microphones with this camera and then we went to Best Buy back to that guy and asked him if he could test out different microphones before we buy them because I've already purchased so many. So he tested different microphones. Then we drove kind of far away to a, a specialty electronic store and uh, their microphone didn't work either. So I did some research and I, you know, I just kind of there was so many different ones. Oh, this microphone works, this microphone works. And and I was like, well, I don't think they're going to work. So uh, we, I, I did end up finding a forum that said the only microphone or the only type of microphone that's going to work with this camera is one with its own power supply and one that's a TSR. I don't know what the hell a TSR is. So uh, I had to look it up and and then I went on um, Amazon and looked for that specific type of microphone and this was the only one that popped up. So I got it and I crossed my fingers first thing this morning and I flipped the switch on the power supply and it worked. So yay! I'm so happy. I hope that um, my pictures are a lot more clear now. I know my videos before were very fuzzy. Uh, some were pixelated and that was because I was filming mostly on my tablet and that has a very low um, uh, front, front forward camera. I don't know. I, I'm so not with all this technical terms. Anyhow, uh, so I hope this works out and I hope you can hear me just fine. Um, I hope that it's not too loud. I did turn it up because I had the volume setting for the mic at 30 and then I filmed the whole video and then I put it in my computer and I could barely hear myself. I had to turn it up 100 on my computer and 100 on the video. So um, I am had to uh, bump up the mic volume and then I moved the mic a little bit uh, closer to me. I do have a lapel mic but I don't like to use it because it seems like every time I move it brushes up against my clothes and then you get that sound. So anyhow that's all I have until uh, next thurs or Thursday which is in two days because it's Tuesday. Uh, so um, I don't know what I have planned on Thursday. I don't have any videos in queue because all the videos that I took were with my tablet and uh, it was just really fuzzy and I didn't want to use them anymore since I got a new camera. So I guess I will surprise you on Thursday. Until I see you next time, take care.